Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. I want to run you guys through a bunch of free stuff that's available right now. Planet Explorer is in a pretty unfortunate story tied to that game being free right now. We'll go through that. A Indie Gala game is free once again. That is DRM free. Witcher Easy Mode is out right now. I don't know too much about that. However, it is a streamlined version of the Witcher tabletop RPG, so I thought I'd give that a mention. And again, it's available for free. And Code Vein will actually be released on PC this year. It'll be coming in September. We got the system requirements for that, so I want to take you guys through that and give you guys my general thoughts on the game. So first up, Planet Explorers is free right now on Steam. And It'll be free forever. There's actually a pretty unfortunate story tied to this game. Back when this was released in 2016, there was actually quite a bit of attention surrounding it. But because of some issues, they are going to be making the game free. And they made a Steam post back on June 24th. They said, as you know by now, if you're still playing Planet Explorers, which is already incredibly depressing, just that notion of, oh, if you're still here playing the game. But nonetheless, let's continue. Our lobby server had an issue where all the code base got deleted from its server. After trying to fix it for the last month, we've arrived at the unfortunate conclusion that it's a lost cause unless we completely rewrite the code from scratch. We use a software called Ulink for Planet Explorers and that software is now defunct. Even if we had the original Ulink code, we still don't have the configurations and additional code we wrote back in 2013. Under the circumstances, we just don't have the resources to rewrite the multiplayer code for Planet Explorers. We're truly sorry for this. Without the multiplayer, Planet Explorers will not be the complete package that we originally envisioned. Thus, starting next week, we'll make the game free. We'll also try to make the game code of available online. We're still looking into the how part. Going forward, we will be making a Planet Explorer 2. It will be much better than the original as we've matured as a studio. We'll probably start on that project next year. We'll put that game's alpha on a branch of Planet Explorers for free for you to play when the time comes. Thank you all for supporting us all this time, Planet Explorers team. Yeah, so this is some incredibly unfortunate news, but at the very least, the game is available free right now, and you'll notice if you do go on the Steam review, you'll notice a mostly negative reception, which is kind of to be expected when something like this happens. There were people that dropped their own money into this game, and now essentially a portion of the game has been wiped from existence, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but nonetheless, I thought I would bring to your guys' attention that the game is available for free. And you can check it out if you so want. Okay, also available free right now, this one's on Indie Gala, is Back to Bed. Back to Bed typically goes for $5.99, and it's currently $1.19 as a part of the Steam Summer Sale, but it has you guide Bob the Sleepwalker to the safety of his bed by taking control of his subconscious guardian, Subob. Explore a surreal and hand-painted dream world, avoid dangers, and get Bob safely back into bed. This game has 239 Steam user reviews, 74% positive, so it's not received all too poorly. Super easy game to run as well. It's available right now on Indie Gala, and again, Indie Gala, you don't get a Steam key or anything like that. You just get the game to own and a direct download for said game, so that is available right now as well. And also, Witcher Easy Mode. This is getting some attention right now, but over on Drive Through RPG, Witcher Easy Mode is available for free. It notes the world doesn't need a hero, it needs a professional. The continent is locked in a brutal war and monsters once again roam the land. A million stories of love, loss, revenge, greed, and glory play out against this grim backdrop. Which one will be yours? With streamlined and easy to understand rules, pre-generated characters, and a ready-to-run adventure, this booklet provides everything a group needs to leap right into the dark and dangerous world of The Witcher. Be careful and remember, keep your wits and your sword sharp. So that is also available for free right now, and I should note that Epic Game Store also has, I believe, the last day of June available for free. I haven't really been covering the Epic freebies anymore, but nonetheless, let's throw a mention to that. So all that stuff is available for free right now. I thought the majority of you guys would have some interest in Planet Explorers, given that it's directly available on Steam, and given that there is an unfortunate story attached to it, I thought I would mention that. Back to Bed looks rather interesting, and it being free on Indie Gala is great, and Witcher Easy Mode being on Drive Through RPG, that's pretty cool as well. Lastly, I do want to mention that Code Vein Steam page is up right now. The game is pre-orderable for $59.99, which is kind of steep. I mean, spending $60 on any game these days, it's going to take a lot for me to do that unless it's at the level of, say, a Cyberpunk 2077 or a Final Fantasy VII remake, a game that I am incredibly excited for. A lot of games these days are not going to be getting my $60. I'll try to find some other e-tailer that'll sell it a little bit cheaper. But nonetheless, Code Vein system requirements are out right now. And this is a game that was actually supposed to release last year. It was actually supposed to release the same 
same week. I think it was supposed to be released on September 23rd of 2018. They delayed the game. Unfortunately, it ended up being delayed for a year, but now we're finally going to get our hands on the game, and I do want to take you guys through the system requirements. Specifically, minimum side of things, you're looking at an Intel Core i5-2300, so that's not anything too crazy. That's a Sandy Bridge i5, and at this point, Sandy Bridge i5 still being able to run games that come out these days. That's pretty impressive. I'm pretty sure Sandy Bridge i5s were a thing like when I got into PC gaming. They had just come out, and given that they're still kicking around all these years later in 2019, that is freaking impressive, so cool to see that. 6 gigabytes of RAM is minimum, which is kind of surprising. The majority of the games these days require at least 8 gigabytes, but 6 gigabytes for that, not all too shabby. Graphics, you're looking at a GeForce GTX 760 or a Radeon HD 7850. Again, very old GPUs as far as those were concerned, but those GPUs were very capable around the time they were released. It's just that at this point in 2019, you're talking about GPUs that are, what, 5, 6 years old, so of course they don't hold up as well. As far as recommended goes, Intel Core i5-7400 or an AMD Ryzen 3 2200G, 8GB of RAM, so you do have 8GB of RAM recommended. And then on the GPU side of things, not all too bad either here, GeForce GTX 960 or a Radeon R9 380X, so pretty standard as far as that goes. Honestly, the GPU requirement is probably a little bit lesser than I would have expected. I would have expected something like a 1060, but nonetheless, it's not like Code Vein is this absolute visual juggernaut. Bandai Namco just generally isn't known for games like that, but Code Vein is shaping up pretty nicely. It's a Souls-like game with a more anime aesthetic look to it. I am very excited for it. I was very excited for this game when it was announced years ago, and finally to see it come to fruition, I'm a little bit skeptical on how it's going to turn out given the delays. Whenever a game is delayed for a while, I'm always going to be a little bit skeptical just because we've seen train wrecks before when a game has gone delayed, but sometimes a delay needs to happen, and it makes the game overall much, much better. But this was a game that it kind of got a delay last minute, and then it got a year's worth of delay, so that's going to cause some skepticism, but nonetheless, I'm hoping that it does turn out pretty well. An anime Souls-like game is something I can definitely get behind. I like the premise of the game with vampires and whatnot. And visually, it's got a cool art style as well, so we'll see how it turns out when it drops September 26th. And that's going to conclude this video, guys. Again, a ton of free stuff available. Planet Explorers is going to be free forever on Steam. Unfortunate series of circumstances with that game, but nonetheless, you can play it for free. Back to Bed is available free on Indiegala. Witcher Easy Mode is available free over at Drive Through RPG. Like I said, Last Day of June is available free on the Epic Game Store, and today is the last day to get that, and we've got the system requirements for Code Vein. That's going to conclude this video. If you guys have a request for a future video you can leave that in the comment section down below and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.